When the California Department of Transportation decommissioned the bridge in 2005, they requested bids to see who could pull down the Carquinas in the right way for the best price. Five contracting firms entered their bids. Most wanted to use large and expensive water-based equipment to dismantle the bridge. But one small firm, California Engineering Contractors, had a different idea. Their plan? To bring down each 1.4 million pound section all at once by lowering them with cables onto two awaiting barges. Each bridge span would become a vessel wider than the width of an aircraft carrier and be pushed away by tugboats. Not only has this innovative technique never been attempted, California Engineering Contractors claims it can do it for just $18 million, 10 million less than the nearest competitor. Their low bid wins them the job, but they have a secret plan to recoup some of the money. Recycling. Workers hack at the bridge day and night. There's nearly 50 million pounds of steel and concrete in the Carquinas. Properly recycled, the steel alone is worth more than $2 million. Project manager David Piermarini has planned this job for eight months. There's little to no waste on a demolition project like this. What we do here on the job site is we cut it up into, into members that are manageable, put it into trailers and different uh, types of containers, and they bring it right over to the scrapyard. crew gets to work on the south end of the bridge. Heavy machinery pulls down the concrete towers. Steel rods called rebar sit inside the concrete to give it strength. This rebar will also be recycled. Bridge engineer Jay Coleman knows there's value in every scrap of steel. The steel industry has been recycling for a long time because of just the, the driving economics behind it. It's cheaper to harvest steel from this old column than it is to harvest iron ore from the ground and make new steel. Even the rubble will be pulverized and made into roads. It's a steel cantilever truss bridge that we're taking apart. There's 12,000 tons of steel, as well as a significant amount of concrete. And we're tasked with completely removing the bridge so that when we're all done with this project, there will be no trace. This is a dream for an engineer to be a part of something like this. And this is why we do this. 